If you want someone to book with you, you'd want to send them a link. So it can be a link of the entire landing page where all your meetings are or a particular event. So if you want to share a link, you come to where it says scheduling page link. Here you have access to all the links for all the meetings and the landing page. So the general scheduling page shown here uh, is this one, the main link. So if you are to scroll down here, you see that there are several events that are there. But if you want all of these events to appear on just one page, you make use of this link. So if we copy it or if we preview it uh, and paste it in our browser, you'll find that uh, this is what you see. As you can see, all the meetings are there. A person can book with you just by accessing this link on their browser. So you can send them uh, as a text or you can send them the link over email. So you can change the link name to anything that you want. If you want to do that, you can just click here where it says change link name. If you want to share a particular, uh, the link of a particular meeting, say a consultation, all you have to do is to click it there and then copy the link from here, direct link. You copy it and you can send it to anyone. Right now we want to see how else we can send these links or how else we can utilize these links. We've talked about the direct link. We can also make use of this directly in the Squarespace uh, website. Also, you can make use of buttons. You can create a button which says schedule and a person, when that person clicks that button, they are taken to the scheduling page. In this case, we want them to go to the general scheduling page. So I've set up a dummy page where we are going to embed uh, the button and you see how it comes out. So all you have to do is to say copy. You go to the back end of your website. In this case, I have set up a page in WordPress, which is a, a popular uh, CMS. So right now, I go to this is a page that I'm building. All I have to do is to add a block, which is an HTML, custom HTML block. I've copied uh, that code for the button and I paste it there. All I have to do is to say preview. As you can see, there is now an appointment button. So when you put your paragraphs and everything, you can just put this appointment button anyway that you think is convenient. Once a person clicks it, let's see what happens. So we are on a live testing page. That button that we created, if we click it, it then brings up uh, the main scheduling page. There we go. We can continue to book any of the meetings, consultation, onboarding of clients, any of these meetings a person can book without leaving uh, the web page. It's actually like an overlay. All the booking is done here and it's finished here without leaving the page. The next option that we can use is to create a booking bar which sticks to the top of your page uh, that you have created. So a person will always see this and they can book anytime when they go onto that particular page. So how do we do that? We go to where it says booking bar and we copy it. This works on most websites. So I'm using uh, a WordPress template. Here I have created a dummy page. I add a custom HTML uh, block. Then I paste what I have and say preview. Right now you won't be able to see the preview, but uh, with this page, we can actually see it here. As you can see, we have this as you can see, it sticks to the top. This is the bar. So if someone wants to schedule an appointment, they simply do that. And it's an overlay just like we saw with the button. The only difference with the button is that this button is stuck on a bar and it is always floating even if I move the page. So it's convenient for someone. They can always schedule a meeting when they are on this page. Another commonly used method of uh, allowing people to book on your website is actually embedding the entire uh, page or uh, landing page for booking. Uh, it can be for a single meeting or just the entire general scheduling page. So what we do is we simply go to that option. Remember, we have selected general scheduling page. We want to embed that. So we then copy the code and go back to the page that we want to put it. 
uh, select the HTML block, which is the custom HTML block, and then we say preview. As you can see, it has been embedded within the page. Let's try and make use of it on a preview page. There we go. If a person wants to book, now it's no longer an overlay, it's embedded within the page. The next way in which a person can schedule uh, is to make use of the client app. So Squarespace Scheduling has a client app that anyone can download on their mobile phone and then they can just scan uh, this uh, QR code and then they will have access to our scheduling page. So how do we give them the uh, this? We can simply copy the QR code or download the image of the QR code and send it to them. Once they scan it, they are taken to our general scheduling page. If we want to also to do another, maybe to say just the QR code of only one meeting, say the consultation meeting, you select it and then copy the image, print it or uh, send it as a hard copy. So these are the ways in which we can share the links, either as links by embedding or making them buttons or bars, then people can schedule with us.